Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for stopping by the Cartridge Studio. Of course. Uh, so introduce yourself and let the people know what you're about. Uh, my name is Zach, and my music project is called Dreamer Boy. And I'm here in Chicago talking with these lovely people today. I make music, and right now I'm on tour, so I'm just enjoying uh, going around, seeing different parts of the country. And yeah, I'm with uh, another artist named Benny right now. So hopefully just uh, trying to connect with some people, the people of Chicago tonight at the Vic Theater and, you know, get some people to dance. <laughs> I think that Dreamer Boy is obviously like a moniker for the music I make. Uh, I'm not necessarily walking around uh, expecting people to like address me as Dreamer Boy, like like first name, last name, Dreamer Boy, you know. Uh, so I also just like the idea of existing as Zach or like outside of that too, and and like having my hand in other projects and you know working with other artists and. Uh, I think Dreamer Boy is like definitely one of the first chapters that has like kind of launched me into the spaces I'm trying to be in. I write a lot, you know. Um, I, lately I've just been uh, gathering and jotting down just like anything and everything. I've just been like falling in love with writing in general and uh, have been enjoying like getting into, you know, practices like painting and drawing and I love the freedom to just get swept up into like a new uh, like medium whether it's like figuring out like oh there's this there's this camera from you know the 1970s that if we find a refurbished version of it we could maybe like create this kind of image and it's like maybe that is sparked by something in the dreamer boy like world or maybe it's just for like pure interest to like just oh like what is this like oh what is this and like you know buying books and looking through them and finding references it's like all of that to me is like the job that I love and like the process I love and so Dreamer Boy gets fed a lot right now but I'm hoping to kind of distribute the you know sort of I guess energy and time you know. Recently I've just been enjoying like the waking up uh, I've been going through like a like a very sort of like untethered like uh, chapter in my life right now. Like I just moved from Nashville to LA and so I've just been like writing a lot and it's been like fragmented. It's been like short, like almost journal like entries. It's been like poems inspired by like the beat writers of like the 1950s, 60s and 70s. I think I've just been really like excited about like that stuff and maybe that ends up in the music and maybe that's, just, I'm discovering like a new way to write songs. But lately, like my favorite thing I've been creating has been like, these just little like, I don't even know what, what they are. They're like these little fragments. You know, I wake up in the morning at this like random hotel in uh, Vermont and it's like I write like this like piece about it and then it maybe one day put all these little fragments together and share that in the same way I would an album or something. Smooth, which I think you can, you definitely have to be thankful for that so far. So knock on, knock on wood. Uh, it's been just energizing in general because uh, this is like the most direct, I think like form of like communication I have with with like people who are listening to my music or like maybe have found it over the years or maybe have never heard it before and I think that when I'm on tour and I'm playing shows I feel the most in tune with that gift that it is to like share and um, have these songs be heard by people in real time and like see their faces and stuff. Oh she's great like and her team and band we've become quick friends with them and we're just enjoying, I think, like catching her set every night. And I enjoy learning and absorbing what I can from every act I'm like ever, you know, touring with or getting to know another artist. And so, yeah, I'm just like going with the flow and letting, letting like myself sort of like be a part of this experience and be a part of her tour. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm a guest. And so I'm just like, hey, thanks for having me, you know. <laughs> It almost feels like this was just supposed to happen. It just was like, it just like kind of fell out of the sky and it was just like, I had this song and we had been following each other on the internet and kind of keeping up 
with each other for a, a second. Sometimes I just have this like intuition where I'm just like, I just need to like shoot my shot here, you know? And that like, so happened to just be me sending her that song. You know, what do you think of this? You know, it already had like a second verse on it. There was no like room for it, but she was just like, like I love it. Let's do, like, let's do this one. And I'm like, okay, like, sure. Yeah, I, I get like, that's perfect. Cause the initial conversation was like, yeah, let's make music together. But then I just kind of was sharing that song. And then she was like, no, this one, I want to be on this one. And I'm like, perfect. Like, like I would love to hear what you like write to this. I had worked a lot there before. I had been doing sessions there. I enjoyed like the environment there. I enjoyed like the sun and like, you know, the, landscape and I had been in Nashville for about eight years. You reach a point in a place where you've sort of let that place like show you all that it, it could, you know, and it's become home and it's become comfortable. And I think to a certain degree that that first phase of comfort is so valuable. You know, when you get to a place, you've got like your friends, you go to your spots, you like cement it in a community. I think that's important. For me, I was feeling sort of the, the cycle of that, which is it's time to sort of push myself out of this comfort, out of this like sort of zone that feels like, yes, I am comfortable here, but I think maybe I have like some growing to do if I were to like sort of just insert myself in a new place is partly that. And then also too, I just think like living there um, provides a certain, I think like accessibility that like Nashville didn't. This next album that I'm working on, like I've made more music for, for it than I have for any other, I think body of work I've like worked on in the past. So with that, it's been this process of like rinsing and and repeating and like discovering and uncovering and then like all of a sudden like trying to remove expectation and pressure or, or whatever that, and just trying to make the purest um, thing I can. I want it to be honest, I want it to be something new and I want it to be from a place that people like really, really like see right away and hear right away that is like completely new. I definitely think that it's an important one to me and I want to make it right, you know, so. Yeah, just having fun. Been writing a lot, so we'll see where it ends up. <laughs>
Yeah, and like gooey in the middle. Oh my gosh. That is it. Bingo. Thanks. Bingo. Oh, hell yeah. We got some pastry boys up in here. This is a super donut. Okay, okay, this is hilarious because it says fortified with minerals, vitamins, and five grams of protein. So they're like advertising this like a health food for sure. I'm not buying it. It's gonna be good though. Childhood, you know, I feel like it's like 7.30 a.m. and I'm just like, yeah. I mean, I don't even know if I need to say anything. It's just, you know how these taste. It's good. Wash that down with some coffee for sure. That'd be nice, you know? Does anybody understand how they make decaf coffee beans? <laughs> I think I was going through a period of time. I had this thing with coffee. It's like a very uh, complicated relationship. That was during a time where me and coffee were kind of butting heads. Caffeine is something that like, sometimes you toe the line between like, maybe like a manic episode and productivity and like kind of feeling good. And I feel like that's right, that's the sweet spot you like you want to be in. It's like right on the edge of a panic attack, you know? <laughs> so I was trying to find decaf coffee beans that time. All right, on to the next one. I love spicy stuff. Stuff that is this color though, you got to be careful. You gotta be real careful. In this family, it's kind of like the Chesters and the Flamin' Hots, but is this like a sp this Chicago? Is like a Chicago? Okay, let's get it. Oh, interesting, wait. <laughs> they almost have like a, like a dill, like almost like a dill pickle sort of note in there. <laughs> Along with, along with like the flavor of the, of course, the magic dust, the, the infamous red powder. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't eat too many more of these. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bad time on stage tonight. My jump shot got an arc like Noah. Oh shit, who, what, whose bar is that? Action Bronson, dude. Okay, Action Bronson has the funniest bars. Like, we were just in the car listening to Action Bronson just right in the morning. I, we were all just like feeling chipper and he just, he was just, you know, he's doing his thing and we were just enjoying every single line. Like we were just letting it just like wash over us. We were just like, every line man is like gold. So yeah, that was one of them that I decided to repackage as a tweet. Last but not least, we have the Calypso Original Lemonade. All right, here we go. All right. Tangy flavor. I mean, that's definitely tasty. It's the type to though leave that kind of slimy feeling in your mouth though. I feel like my saliva just instantly got like, like really thick, but uh, cheers to summer, you know? This is, this is like a taste of summer, I guess. One of them, which is just playing music for people. Uh, not to be too like cornball, like, oh, I'm living my dream right now. No, but I think definitely that. I think as I'm, you know, getting older, I'm wanting to like just have my hand in, in other people's, you know, sort of like projects, you know, younger artists and uh, contribute to, to like other people's vision. Cause I think like, I don't know, making albums and right, it can just be so kind of like navel gazing and just like, so like kind of just self, Focus, and I think sometimes it's fun to kind of like get out of that. I think I want to like write a book. I think that would be sick. I want to like keep traveling, and, you know, hopefully settle down with someone <laughs> at some point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, before then, just enjoying the ride, I think, you know, enjoying all the little moments, you know, the little day to day stuff, so. Definitely some more music and I think just like, I wanna give like people sort of a more personal project next. And so that's what I'm cooking up right now. Over the next year, play more shows and yeah, just keep keep meeting people and like sharing, sharing whatever, you know, I'm creating with people. And I just hope it sort of resonates with people and we can share something, you know, in common. and. 
yeah, that's that's what I'm hoping for the rest of the year. It's just more of that. All right, y'all. Let me get out of here. Go play the show at the Vic Theater. Thanks for tuning in to this uh, Q&A with Clark Street. I hope y'all are doing well, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. All right. Good shit. Oh, shit. <laughs>